So the biggest stunt we had to do was the car blowing up. And the biggest problem we had was finding the location. It was like, you can't shoot it here, we don't want a next door building, where our parking lot's gonna be too busy, blah, 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 whatever it was. Permits, everything, we finally found the place. Well, it ended up being the coldest day of filming. Not the coldest, but the coldest at that time. And it rained all morning. We had other scenes to shoot inside the building, so the pyro guys were out there working it out. Stop raining, thank God, it's another small miracle. And they went over everything with all of us. Six cameras set up all over the place, slow motion up here, you know, regular time here, different, different, uh, different sort of film speeds. And uh, it was crazy because the scenes do start with the actors around the car and the explosions are in there. So don't touch any button because it would blow up. And the whole idea is that um, the bad guys wanted to kill all three of those guys. But they all of a sudden, oh, I forgot one other thing. So the two guys start walking back and then the one guy's still in the car and he sees, as he's digging around the back, he sees underneath the seat a couple of lights and he screams to the guy. And of course, he had to cut to him being out. But then we put the two actors back close to the car and they're not that far. And then all of a sudden they run, run, run. They turn and think they start running as it just blows up. And we got so many great angles on it and everybody. And it's weird because they had a dub dummy in the car. So when you watch it, you're gonna see like half his arm from the dummy fall on the ground next to the flames, which is really kind of gross, but there's some truth to it too. And that was just dumb luck to have that happen. And you can't really, t I knew what it was, we all knew what it was, but it doesn't show quite as much. You just see a couple of things fall out of the car and you got to think, well, it's either a piece of a seat or a piece of a body. So it's just funny to see something like that happen because everybody just goes crazy when it works out perfectly. And it worked out absolutely perfectly. Never done anything like that before. You know, we had a whole bomb squad come on set. We had six or seven different cameras at different heights and lengths, and like distances away. And so we had literally one take to get it right. And, and I remember I was talking to Greg, who plays Buck, and he says, it's okay, I'm going to try to fight you on this because you're a big guy, I'm a big guy. He's, you know, 6'4", 260 pounds. And I was at the time 240, 250, and I'm 6'5", and I was going, Okay, cool, so when the explosion happened, or right before it happened and he's running to the car, I yanked him so hard back that I actually ripped his zipper off of his jacket. And so we both yanked and we ran and the whole car exploded. We both dove onto where the, uh, you know, right up to the wall there. And man, I gotta say, I, I would do it again and again and again. It was so fun, I wanna do more like it. When I saw the footage after the fact, I'm like, oh, thank goodness this is a movie. Um, and they, they were very safe in, in the way that they did it and in the tricks that they play when they're doing the filming, the actual photography and, and stuff like that. So. It worked out great and it's just, um, it's just one, of those, one of those moments that when you, you, everybody just applauds because it's just nice when it works out. Get it. It's a bomb! Run! Run! Run!